Nothing in your life is ever easy. Guys, welcome to Moving on TV and to World Borderline Personality Disorder Awareness Month. <laughs> I decided to film today in the garden. It's such a beautiful, beautiful day. And the message I wanted to get across is of hope. Hope, pure and clear, like my name, Lauren Hope. And the only reason I have that hope with this condition is because of the therapeutic communities. There is no doubt in my mind that if I hadn't gone into a therapeutic community in uh, November 2011, I would not be here now, recovered and able to run moving on TV and doing other things that I'm able to do. As you know, um, last year I went through hell. I had a lot of losses. I lost my father, I had a serious accident and it went on and on and on and lost my father's home. But despite all of that, all of that pain, all of that suffering, all of that grief, I am managing this condition really, really well. And that's my message for this month. Now, I created this station for all of us to support each other. And uh, I created a mental health show, particularly for people who have got mental health issues that want to learn how to deal with them and have a better life. And so I'm sitting here telling you that the therapeutic community gave me a toolbox of recovery. And when I use that toolbox of recovery, in spite of the loss and the, the things that are not very nice in life that happen to us, I don't need medication. I don't need doctors. I don't need to go anywhere for help. I can find it in myself with the techniques that I learned. So it may be a good idea to just pass on some of those techniques in this um, little talk that I'm doing. As you know, I run Moving On TV on a budget and uh, I'm filming this on my iPhone. So I hope it comes across. Uh, some of the techniques I use, the most important one I'd say is structure. You have to have a structured life. You have to have every day that you get up, you have to structure your day. And particularly if you're going through loss or grief of some kind, you need to have some structure. And that really, really works for me. And it worked for me to get up every day and go to the community uh, for three days a week. And um, because you knew where you were going, you knew what you were doing. So structure is very, very important. I will go into more details when I create programs, particularly for each technique in the toolbox. But I'm going to go through some of them today. So structure is very, very important. Make sure you know what you're doing with your day. Because the minute you get choices, and it's interesting, because I thought choices were always very good for us, but they're not. Not when you have a head like mine. Choices can create havoc. So if you're very low, and you're vulnerable and this condition thrives on vulnerability being low abandonment and grief so if you're going through something and you're low and vulnerable you need to give your head structure okay that's very important very very important take the choices away and you tell your head or you create a program of what you are going to do with your day and then you do your best to live up to it and have some options that just in case one doesn't work out, you've got another one, but have a certain structure, okay? The other thing is you have to have validation and compassion from those around you or else it's not gonna work. So if you're around people that don't give you validation and compassion, then you, you're not going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to thrive. They need to understand your condition. They need to work with you. Um, I educated my husband, so to speak. We had counselling together after I came out of the community. And that's the only way he understands enough about this condition to be able to work with me and not against me. So you need, so you need to have that. You need to educate those around you about the condition and they need to validate you. So if you're going through grief and unhappiness, they need to validate that. There's a certain way of talking to people who have this condition. I was put on a contract called Stop, Think and Listen. Because you need to think about what you're saying. When you talk to someone with BPD, you have to listen to what they're saying. If someone doesn't, if the person doesn't listen, then um, you may get a situation 
where that person with the condition will get triggered very, very quickly. Sorry, I'm in the garden, so you can probably hear a lot more. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful sunny day and I'm recording this program at In The Garden. And I hope you enjoy that, the fact that we're out in nature. So I'm trying to put together some of the techniques. So we talked about structure, validation and compassion. The next most important thing um, that you have to use with this condition is you need to have a dream. You need to have something to aspire to, a goal something that you love, something that you want to do with your life and you have to give yourself the opportunity to nurture yourself, to eat properly, to sleep, to do your best to sleep even when you can't sleep. Give yourself water, uh, play with your animals but you know you must create that space as well. Okay so that's all I wanted to say. Um, welcome to World uh, Borderline Personality Disorder Month which is May. I will be putting on loads of programs around this in order to support people with BPD all over the world. I'm on the Casey Armstrong show on WMAP where you can listen to me for the next three months, my interviews and adverts. And um, come on board moving on TV. We're looking for you so we can help you find more solutions for your life. I love you lots and bringing the hope back into your lives. And if you get diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, ask your doctor to refer you to a therapeutic community. That's where you will get all of these things I'm talking about. And if you need to take medication, then you need to take it until they tell you not to. I'm not a doctor and it's not my job to tell you what to do. My journey does not involve medication and that's how I work. Take care. Lots of love. <laughs> working with an iPhone. Bye. Hello, my name is Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. I specialize in smoking cessation, weight loss, phobia release, stress management, and hypnobirthing. I can do a free assessment via the phone, via Skype, or face to face at any time. So that's Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. Looking forward to your call now. You can also find me on my Facebook page, which is Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy.